The honk? You don't think they're all the gonna? <laughs> Looks like a major problem. Get it, mage? Do you think they're mirages? I can definitely the sense of similarity. Then we know exactly what to do with them. So it can talk. I've heard it speak too. Whoa! A mirage that can talk? Hmm? So she can. That is odd. <laughs> you just noticed? So, kid, your name is Vivi? Mm hmm. So your friends there, are all of them able to talk just like you do? Friends? Where? Hey! Don't you realize they're dangerous? They are? Hey, you guys know better than to act mean. See? I knew they'd be reasonable. They even said they'll help us. Whoa. Color me impressed. Yes, bravo. Okay. So, what can me and my friends do for you? Oh, actually... Is working? Bigger Hill Castle can break the free now. Oh, hey, we don't want to miss this. Come on. Yeah, let's head outside. <laughs> it 
it's time. Now, full speed ahead! Yeah, no kidding. By the way, couldn't this be that cradle of Mako's light that has the key of Earth? You mean this key here? Huh? Dude, it's the second key! Ask and you shall receive. It appears that Vivi had it all along. Lucky the us! Again, <laughs> it all seems just <laughs> a little <laughs> too lucky. Yeah. But there's no yeah. point in dwelling on it right so now. Is this officially ours? So Vivi, sure where will is. you go now? Hmm... How's this? Stay in Figaro. Huh? Hey! It's you! Ah, my favorite giants. Your help has been most invaluable. Uh, 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 didn't Squall relay my intentions? Yes. Well, listen, I... I am sorry. The Federation was watching me like a hawk, so I... <laughs> What about Lightning? Is she okay? Oh, yes. I made certain she escaped. After all, she wouldn't have been out there protecting you had I asked. Huh? Seriously? She was part of this? Oh, then technically you did help us before you unhelped us. Yeah, I guess we're even now? Guess so. <sighs> <sighs> Uh, what was that? Where did it come from? Has it always been there? Lurking beneath Figaro? Incredible! That mirage that possessed power beyond the belief! Huh... After all that I've put you through... This hardly suffices, but I have some information. Huh? One of the keys is in the land of naught but night, correct? Well, I may know where. Really? Where is it? To the west of here. You'll find Big Bridge, a colossal crossing that will take you to another continent. That particular continent gets no sunlight due to the thick, dark skies overhead. They even call it the land of the stolen sun. Really? How can place not be not with night? Ah, what a pain. Huh? Say, you wouldn't happen to be the giants from the hills, would you? Wow, perfect timing. You see, there's a little favor I'd like to ask of you. Recently, the sandworms out in the Phantom Sands have been getting more aggressive and have started causing trouble for the merchants that pass nearby. Normally, it's my job to go out there and deal with them, but as luck would have it, I did a number on my arm yesterday. Could you go there in my stead and stomp out that nest of Wrigley invertebrates? Good luck out there!
I can't stand it, I can't stand it, I can't stand it! Oh, I can't stand it! Why do those mirages insist on causing me trouble? Hmm. You two. You wouldn't happen to be the giants from the hills, would you? You've come at just the right time. There are some horrible mirages I want you to reprimand for me. Those thieving good-for-nothings have raided every single shipment of the luxury tea leaves I ordered. Oh, it makes me furious just thinking about it. These are the despicable thieves that have been stealing my tea leaves. Be a dear and take care of this for me, won't you? Hurry up and take care of those mirages for me. Midgar seems to be down for a nice long sleep. Midgar? Ah, that's what the place is called. The underground facility you explored. Huh? Why did you guys name your prison? Well, it's not technically speaking a prison at all. Huh? No? Then what? A kingdom this size? We never fill so large a prison. The men you met down there, those were my guards in disguise. Dude! I thought the guy's prices were a little too good to be true. If I might explain, Figaro's submerging castle has always been in my family. But I was the one who discovered the facility. Ten years ago, while trying to figure out how the castle ticked. Excited, I enlisted Shinra's help. We investigated, and discovered that the facility was called Midgar, and powered by special energy known as Mako. However, not only was it teeming with mirages, the machines that Shinra was using for the investigation, they developed a mind of their own and attacked us. There were too many threats down there, not to mention it housed my moving castle's power source. And so, of course, I needed a good cover story that would keep even the Federation away. As for the sandstorm to the west, moving the castle appears to have taken all the spite out of it. Chapter 16 Clash on Big Bridge So Big Bridge, it's off to the west, right? My first colossal crossing. This is gonna be colossal crossum. Now I'm getting the hyped. Whoa! That thing over there has got to be it! No, that is one big the bridge! Well, you sure can't say it doesn't live up to the name! Getting to the top is... Not gonna be fun. All the same. Still, you have to admire it. Who could have built something like this? Nobody ever built it. A giant summoned it here in ages past. The name is Aiko. My job is to look after the bridge. You've come here to cross it, right? Yeah. So, you were saying that big bridge isn't man-made. That someone summoned it here, but like... First, the bridge has a real name. It's Alexander, in fact. What? The Great Mirage! Big Bridge Alexander! Oh, it's... it's the true! How did I miss it? I can sense the bridge is the presence! Dude! This thing is alive? Holy schlep! 
And that's why a summoner like me has to look after him. Oh, wow! So you're a summoner then? Yeah, but it's not like I'm the one that summoned him. Hey, can I ask you something? Hmm? Are you them? The one and only giants from the hills? You bet! Yeah, that's the word. So... I guess that means it's true. Hmm? Wait a second. If the prophecy is right... You better not even think about it! Don't you dare lead us down the wrong path! Huh? Nobody remembers because they're so caught up in the Crimson Prophecy. The Azure Prophecy, it very clearly says you could bring us salvation or ruin the Divergent Futures. Oh, that's right. Princess Sarah did tell us about the Divergence. Wait, the what? You're the mean you forgot! I'm starting to worry. Maybe I shouldn't let you use the bridge. Oh no. We're cool. Me and Rain are totally going to wreak the right future. Sure are. Huh? <sighs> well, it's not like I can stop you. The prophecy's about you, not me, right? Go on, you can cross. But don't go causing the apocalypse. Duly noted. So is there some special the trick to getting to the tippity top of Alexander? Just get on. I'll handle the wake-up call. The what? Alexander's kind of a sound sleeper. So it's my job to step in and sort of get things going. Now, off you go! To your tidy white chocobos. Huh? Ah. Right. Ready when you are. This is the gonna be fun. Thanks, Aiko. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, 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 hey, Rain. I've got a bad feeling. Okay. I know that you're over there. I suppose you want to cross the bridge, too? No. My business is here with you, Summoner. <gasps> An Esper, as I thought. Look upon me now. Am I truly your enemy? Fenrir, your place is here by my side. As you wish, but I hope you indulge me with a better fight than that mist dragon with the other girl. <gasps> other girl? You mean Rydia? No! What did you do to her? Soon you will no longer care. Ow, ow, owie, ow, mm. ow. <sighs> and here, I thought gravity was the worst that could happen to us. <sighs> Are we there yet? Huh? I guess not. <clears throat> huh? Why did we just stop? Don't tell me Alexander went the back to sleep. Oh, no. We have to do the rest of this on... foot? Looks like we have no choice. Dude, why?
You okay, Rain? A friend of mine used to go to the school way up on a hill, and it would close down even at the slightest hint of snow. So why is that? Because the only thing worse than climbing a slippery hill is trying... Oh, she's so upset we've moved beyond trivia. Oh, that's great. How are we supposed to get past here? I'll show you. Huh? Oh! Now your turn. Yeah, thanks. Hey, no sweat. I'm Bartz, and this is my partner, Boko. Oh, hey, I've heard there's some weirdo going around here yelling my name and attacking total strangers. W wait, wait, it's not one of you, is it? Huh? No, we didn't even know your name until you just told us. Oh, good. Well, I'd better keep looking for him. Can't have folks like that roaming around. If some bully was going around using my name to hurt a bunch of innocent people, I'd be the weirded out too. I know, right? <laughs> Maybe if Tama was a tomahawk, then her name could... Apple! You're great, but that one is the P.U. Yeah, that did stink. P.U.? But that's too great! You guys going up? Yes, that's right. Okay, then why don't I ta Okay, then why don't I tag along? The more the merrier, I say. You know, this might be my... Back when I was a kid, I heard some towns still had folks like you. But nowadays, the only giants you run into are the soldiers in the Bahamutian army. Oh, I wonder... By the way, Bart, you wouldn't happen to be a summoner. Me? No way. Boko here is just a really good friend. Uh -huh. You know, there are plenty of mirages who live alongside humans by their own choice. There's chocobos and moogles. Now that you mention it, I have seen moogles and chocobos wandering around Grimoire's towns. And Captain Ferris was the living with moogles too. Well, considering she's best buddies with a giant sea dragon, I'd say she's closer to something like a summoner or a mirage keeper. Really? You sure know some interesting people.
supposed to the We need to get Oh, an abstraction! I think I will need to take some classes on Lonnie. Oh, an abstraction! Oh, an abstraction! I think I will need to take some classes in Lonnie's. Hey, listen, sis. You know that expression, cross that bridge when you come to it? Don't you think that? I mean, it's not like you can cross a bridge before you come to it. It doesn't make any sense. If you ask me. I... I didn't, I didn't. Please make it stop. <laughs> 